To balance this equation, we have copper 2 sulfate plus potassium carbonate. This is a double displacement reaction. So let's count the atoms up. We'll use a little bit of a trick that you can use with double displacement reactions. We have one copper, and then this SO4, it's called the sulfate. We have one here, and we have the sulfate again here. It stays together in the chemical reaction. So we're just going to say we have one sulfate. Two potassium atoms and CO3. We have CO3 here. We see it again over here. So we have just the one carbonate, the one CO3. So this makes it really quick to count everything up. Let's go on the product side. One copper, one sulfate, two potassium atoms, and then just the one carbonate. And you can see right away, everything's the same on both sides. So we're done. This equation's already balanced. We could report the coefficients as one, 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 but we don't write those in the final equation. So you can see it's real useful when you're balancing these double displacement reactions. If you have an ion here, another polyatomic here, they're the same. Just count them as one thing. Either way, you get the same answer as if you counted all the individual oxygens and sulfurs. This way, it's just a lot quicker and less prone to error. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CuSO4 plus K2CO3. Thanks for watching.